you had a boxing fight as well and uh, I ended up winning it. It, it wasn't, <laughs> I mean, I, I seem to remember like back in 2010, you had, it was either a boxing or a kickboxing fight as well, right? Yeah. So uh, kickboxing, I had, uh, I was four and one as an amateur kickboxer. Okay. Um, I've been doing martial arts since I was eight years old. So um, striking predominantly, um, but I, I have, uh, the, the four fights in, uh, amateur kickboxing. And then this boxing fight kind of, uh, I, you know, just fell on my radar and it was going to be one, it was going to be in Dubai where yeah. I not only had never been, but never really thought about going to, um, they were, uh, you know, gracious enough to fly, um, my agent, my coach and my wife, <laughs> My wife and I. I heard it was a nice deal. When I was told about it, I was was told it was a very nice deal. (laughs) Yeah, it was really, uh, really something special. And uh, and I I got to fight on a Floyd Mayweather undercard. You know, I I just felt like, okay, this is something that on my deathbed, I'm. There's no way I'm going to regret doing this, win, lose, or draw. Um, And my wife and I got to see Dubai. You know, it just can't lose. I remember, I think somebody actually dropped into my DMs and they're like, hey, this isn't out there yet, but Bobby Fish is fighting on the undercard of a Mayweather show. And like, not that I doubted your abilities. I was like, like, how does that even come up? Like, <laughs> Yeah. Well, then, I mean, let's face it. We don't It's, it's amazing. Pro, pro wrestlers don't have necessarily the greatest track record of crossing sure. over into actual combat. Um Butterbean made a career of beating pro wrestlers' asses in real fights. He (laughs) he beat up Sean O'Hare, Jesus. He He beat up Bart Gunn. He he did it to everybody. (laughs) Yeah. Um, I'm not getting in the ring with Butterbean anytime soon, but... um, He's looking great lately. Did you see him doing the DDP thing? 100% I 100% I have because I, I just recently got my DDP uh, yoga certification as well. Oh, incredible. And um, so now I'm, I'm, I'm able to coach that. And uh, Dallas, man, I, I cannot – we would he- need a whole nother interview for me to, for me to go into um, how I feel about Dallas and, and what, DDP What a yoga. guy. I, I hit him up when I first started my podcast in 2016 – And I was Mm. like, hey, I used to do catch wrestling and some pro wrestling, had a really bad neck injury, did DDP yoga, and that's why I was able to wrestle again. And he Mm -hmm. goes, cool, I want to sponsor your show. And I was like, wow. Yeah. That's that's unbelievable. That's the man in in a a nutshell. Yeah. I mean, so that boxing fight that you're talking about, he was my first sponsor. (laughs) (laughs) Not surprising. Same story. (laughs) Yes. Not surprising. 